The New York Police Department over the last 12 years has made extraordinary progress in reducing crime in New York. It started 20, 25 years ago. Um, an idea that, uh, called CompStat, which was the idea that um, turn uh, all the data that we have about crime transparent, let us see in infinite detail where it's happening, who's doing it, um, gives us the, the opportunity to then manage uh, crime control very precisely um, and, very, and very effectively and move our resources where crime was and in effect bring it down in extraordinary ways. But what we also saw was that over these last 12 years, the move to crime control cost the New York Police Department citizen support. It cost the New York uh, Police Department um, uh, the support of citizens for an incredibly important mission, which was crime control. We know that it's possible to have a great cr uh, crime control and strong citizen support. And we know that it's possible as well to truly engage police officers in that work. When you have those three things moving together and when you keep your eye not only on citizen support and workforce engagement and crime control, but finally then on outcomes for neighborhoods, um, and we see, we measure our success by whether people are playing in parks, whether kids can walk to school safely, then we'll have uh, success in a way that we've never had before. We've lost um, uh, a large segment of New Yorkers. Um, we know that we can get them back, and we need to. And we need to, in order to do that, um, we'll be successful with crime control when we are able to mobilize um, all segments of New York in support of it. If we can't, then we're not going to have the information that we need. We're not going to have the support that we need. We're, today's witness will, uh, won't come forward tomorrow if they don't see the results. Uh, so th we're in a new world today where um, some of the traditional tools of law enforcement have been taken away from the New York Police Department by the courts. Um, stop and frisk. We see the effect on the street corners. And public housing trespass laws have been a very effective tool for law enforcement because we don't need to ask permission. We are the we are the um, the agents of the of public housing. We can uh, we use trespass summonses for that kind of control. Even marijuana stops have been a, a way of control. Um, those three important control uh, tools uh, are now changing for the New York Police Department, and we have to find new ways to assure safety and security for citizens. To do that, we will need to engage. And to do that, we will need to understand far better than we do um, the sources of citizen support and to see far better than we ever have before crime um, as, it, as, it, as it begins to, uh, to emerge. We know now that in some of the, the, the hardest pressed uh, precincts and boroughs of New York um, that Crews, small groups of kids, teenagers, have come together, you know, hundreds of crews um, that are responsible for a great deal of the gun violence in New York. By hearing them speak, watching them speak, um, looking at them on social media, we understand who is doing a lot of the, uh, who is causing um, a lot of the damage in the city, and we've been able to address that not by hammering entire communities, but by precision targeting uh, these young people, not, not all of whom are bad boys and bad girls, a lot of them are good kids, um, just getting mixed up with bad stuff. Um, and instead of hammering whole communities, begin to work very surgically. That's the future of policing in New York. And it's a future that's data-driven, um, that looks for the support of communities by uh, by building up um, uh, our contact and our engagement by social media, um, by using social media also to understand the ebb and flow of crime and disorder in communities, using it appropriately and safely. Um, this is the new wave of policing in New York. It's the next generation um, where we measure our success not simply by CompStat crime control numbers, but by crime control plus citizen support plus workforce engagement plus neighborhood outcomes. And we're now able to measure all of those in ways that we never have before, and we plan to, so that we, as we achieve crime control, um, we lift support 
and we lift uh, uh, workforce engagement and we achieve great results for neighborhoods. That's really our goal and I think what we can do next.